Hello, good morning. Thank you for being here today. I'm Joy Alquerer and I'm from DepEd Head Office and I'm going to talk about student engagement, a core driver of transformative learning. Um, this is under NCBTS Domain 2, the learning environment, Domain 3, diversity of learners, and Domain 4, curriculum. Education is transformative. Opportunities to learn present opportunities for change. Let me say that transformative education is the way learners think and the way learners feel. Transformational learning is about change, dramatic, fundamental change in a way we see ourselves and the world in which we live in. So this involves becoming more reflective and critical, being more open to the perspective of others, and being less defensive and more accepting of new ideas. According to Mel Miriam, 2007. Transformative learning involves experiencing a deep structural shift in the basic premises of thought, feelings, and actions. It is a shift of consciousness that dramatically and irreversibly, al irreversibly alters our way of being in the world. Such a shift involves our more understanding of ourselves and our self-location, our relationships with other humans and with the natural world, our understanding of relation of power in interlocking structure of class, race, and gender, our body awareness, our vision of alternative approaches to living, and our sense of possibilities for social justice and peace and personal joy. According to Mezero, 1994, described the transformational learning through theory as being constructivist. So, construct constructivist is the way that learners interpret and reinterpret their sense experience is central to making meaning and hence learning. This theory involves two kinds of learning. Number one is instrumental learning, wherein focuses on learning through tax-oriented problem solving and determination of cost and effect relationships. While communicative learning is involved with how others communicate their feelings, need, and desires with another person, syempre sa pagko-communicate natin, dito tayo nakakahanap ng panibagong thoughts or knowledge na madadagdag sa atin. And it also helps the learners to become critical, autonomous, and responsible thinkers. So this is the process of perspective transformation. We have convictional, behavioral, behavioral and psychological. Where wherein psychological changes in understanding of the self, convictional revision of belief system, behavioral is changes in lifestyle. The meaning of perspective transformation is leading to transformative learning occurs infrequently. Mesero believes that it usually results from disorienting dilemma, which is triggered by life crisis or major life transition, although it may also result from a, an accumulation of transformation in meaning scheme over a period of time. From Mezero 1997, the goal of transformational learning is to change the 
frame of reference, which is the collective assumption through which we interpret and understand the world we live in. Elements of frame reference, habits of mind, are always affected and shaped by assumption which build on cultural, social, educational, and political codes. Point of view originates from habits of mind. Learning occurs in one of four ways by elaborating existing frame of reference, by learning new frame of reference, by transforming points of view, or by transforming habits of mind. Levels of Cognitive Processing First order thinking, compute, memorize, read, and comprehend. Metacognition, monitoring, progress, and products of first over thinking. Transformative learning, reflecting on the limits of knowledge, the certainty of knowledge, and the criteria for knowing. The following are the reasons to consider transformative learning theory and practice for student. Guide for education of adult. The transition to adult life. This often involves personal transformation as a student moves from a safe school environment to take on complex work, study, and social responsibility. When students are led to a deeper understanding of concept of issues, their fundamental beliefs and assumptions may be challenged, leading to a transformation of perspective or overview. As we ask students to develop critical and reflective thinking skills and encourage them to care about the world, them they may decide that some degree of personal or social transformation is required. We are living through a period of time, period of transformation change in society and culture. The following are key points to apply transformation, learning, and practice by Emel 1998 and Taylor 1998. Ideal learning condition promotes a sense of safety, openness, trust, and care. Effective instructional methods support a learner-centered approach, promote student autonomy, participation, and collaboration. Sensitivity relationships with the students. This provides the students with quality learning experience by being trusting, empathetic, caring, authentic, and sincere. The following are instructional practices that can be used to increase participation and engagement in the classroom. So, dito na nga natin maaano yung instructional practices na kailangan natin mas mapa-increase pa yung participation and engagement ng mga students. Creating an emotionally safe classroom student who have been shamed or belittled by the teacher or another students will not effectively engage in challenging tasks. So dito, as a educator, dapat yung mga students na, na mga na-OP o kaya yung mga nahihiya, dapat mas ma-encourage natin o ma-engage sila sa mga activities with their co-students. Creating an intellectually safe classroom. Begin every activity with a task that 95% of the class can do without your help. So dito, katulad nga ngayon, more on performance na yung mga students natin. So, mas mahahayaan natin yung mga students natin, 95% na gagawin nila yung kanilang work or activity. Cultivating engagement meter. Be acutely aware of when your students are paying strong attention or are deeply engaged in their task. So, dapat aware tayo na 
yung mga students natin ay ginagawa nila talaga yung activities nila or hindi. Participating journal or blog writing to communicate with students. Let your student write with regular reflection on the work they have done. So, kailangan nga natin na uh, as a teacher, kailangan din natin makuha yung mga reflection ng mga students natin dun sa mga activities or works na ginagawa nila. Kung may natutunan ba sila or what. Teaching self, awareness about knowledge, creating a culture of explanation instead of culture of right answer. Using the design process to increase the quality of work. This is a drop and revision process used by many professionals to increase the quality of their work. Marketing the projects. Assign projects which incorporate authentic tasks that will help students in their lives, jobs, or relationships. So, educational implication. There have been plenty of criticism about the education that aims at an end product rather than focusing on the learning process. The lack of priority of experience and access to different areas of learning was also mentioned. To determine what to learn and how to learn requires a dialogue among all those who are involved in the educational process. To attainment of transformation involves the intention from both policy and institution, institutional level as well as in the, in, intentional efforts from the individual themselves. Learners need to show willingness to embrace the challenges throughout the process of change. Several groups highlighted the importance of learners' open-mindedness open -mindedness, and their courage to take risks and to change, the readiness to unlearn, the self-motivation and self-confidence to make decisions and take responsibility. Remember, transformative learning involves the transformation of frame of reference, points of view, habits of mind, world views, the critical reflection on how we come to know. Messi Rowe, 1997. In order to foster transformative learning, the educator should learners in becoming aware and critical of assumption. So, as a future educator, for me, para mas ma-engage pa natin yung mga students natin through, the, through their works. So, transformational learning requires that every student in the room feels accepted, important, and valued. So, dapat walang ma- Maseset aside na students, dapat feel nila na sila importante. And to better student engagement is the use of questioning strategies na lahat na yung mga estudyante mo ay mag-iisip mag at sasagot. Dito din papasok yung collaboration na pwede mo i-group yung mga estudyante mo at mag pwede silang mag-assign each group a topic to discuss. And that's all for today. Thank you.